So I talk to a lot of drummers and a lot of them feel held back because they only have one ride cymbal and it only makes a certain sound and it, you can get a ton of sounds from one ride cymbal. And I kinda wanna demonstrate that for you. Not kinda, I'm going to. You can get specifically 10 different sounds. Really, there's more, but these are the 10 distinct that I use the most uh, with my ride cymbal. Some of them are for actually riding, and some of them are for more effects and things like that. So uh, let's start off with the first one. The first one is on the edge of the cymbal. If you've never done this, this one's a fun one. Uh, whenever you're just adding you know, some cymbal tinkle to whatever is happening in the, in the music, it's hitting here. That's such a manly word, isn't it, tinkle? It's... So if you hit that, it's a very different sound than if you hit here. It's just a different sound. All right, so that's the first sound, is basically um, just hitting right on the edge of that sound, of that cymbal, and getting a, you get a lot of overtones with that, so I, re I really like that one. All right, the next one that is popular is obviously a crash sound. Some of these you're gonna be like, of course you can get those, and some of them you will, I had teachers show me, and I was like, wow, I didn't know it made that sound. Uh, and so um, one of them is obviously the crash sound. Some cymbals do not crash as well as others. Not all rides are created equal, but just because it says ride cymbal does not mean it cannot be used as a crash cymbal or a crash ride. So you have more of this sound. All right, now let's move to sound number three. We're gonna go to the bell of the cymbal. Everybody just hits the bell and they're like, oh, that's just the, it's just the sound that I get, it's the bell. Now there's three distinct sounds you can get on the bell. There's more than that, but just to save you uh, my, my uh, OCD, we'll just go with three, okay? So the first one is you can hit with the tip of the stick on that bell. And really, depending on if you hit more towards the crest of the cymbal or if you hit more towards the bottom of the bell, you can get different tones with that. The other obvious one is you can hit the, what this is called the shaft of the stick, okay? So you can hit uh, right here in the meat of the stick. And then there's a third one that a lot of people skip, but it's a really cool one. It's got some really cool overtones. In between, before it, before it gets the full uh, diameter of the stick and not hitting on the tip, there's this sweet spot right in between here, almost where the, the tip meets the body of the stick. If you hit there, it's a very distinct sound. So the tip. Full stick, and then in between. And those really come in useful for whenever you're playing world rhythms, anything that where a bell would be called for. Um, it's, it, it's a really, uh, just variation, again, variation for your sound. So, got the first sound here, we got the second sound, the crash, third sound is the tip, fourth sound is the body of the stick, the fifth sound is right here where we're coming just in between the body and the tip of the stick. Now, we have some other sounds. A lot of people think that, okay, I just have the rest of the cymbal to hit. Well, let's go over the two distinct sounds that we obviously know we have. We have the tip of the stick that we can get a sound anywhere on our cymbal with, right? Great, we all know that one, right? The other one that we know is different from crashing because we use it different is the body of the stick. So if you use those in a groove, Okay, more of an accent there. So that would be, uh, we have the first here, we have the second here, we have the three bell sounds, then we have the, the tip of the stick, and then we have the body of the stick on the cymbal we can use in different ways. So that's seven different ways right there. We're not done, all right? We have other ways. Now I divide the face of the cymbal, which is what this is, I divide that up into three separate areas. I have more of an edge area, there's a bigger area in here where it's it's very similar of a sound, and then there's closer to the bell, and that is that's kind of the three areas that I that I designate depending on how much wash I want, what I'm doing with it, how dry I want the tone to be. Uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. So in zone one here on the cymbal, it's much closer to the to the edge of the cymbal, uh, and you're getting a, a lot more washy sound, even if you're hitting with the the, the tip of the stick. Again, that's different than this. And it's different than this. This is just with the tip. 
All right, so that's the first zone there on the face of the symbol. The second zone, we're just gonna come up a couple of inches and we'll hit kind of right in the middle of the symbol. Zone one. Lower, earthier, zone two. A little bit of wash, a lot more clarity and definition. And then this, the zone three is gonna be up here closer to the bell. It's three distinct sounds. And it gets lower and more washy as you go out. So that's 10 sounds right there. One full wash is two, the three bell sounds. Uh, we then have the tip of the stick, the full body of the, or the, the shaft of the stick, and then we have the three different zones there. That's 10 different sounds you can get with the ride cymbal. So I'm gonna play a groove and I'm gonna demonstrate all 10 of those, uh, but I'm not, the only one I won't demonstrate is this one because this is more of an effects. So um, that will be the first sound and then I'll come into a groove and I'll demonstrate the other sounds. All right, so no longer can you go away and look at your ride cymbal the same way. Some of them are made better for other things. Some bells will sound better. Some washy will, will sound better. Uh, I have certain cymbals that I crash on, certain that I don't. The Sweet Ride, this is the 21 inch Sweet Ride uh, with Zildjian. Um, I can do basically everything that I want with this one. It's a really versatile cymbal. It's really, really grown on me the more I've used it. Uh, and so it's all about what sounds can you get out of your cymbal and I encourage you to explore your symbol. There's muted strokes. There's all different things that we can do with that ride symbol, but it's because we just don't explore it. We hit it and we go, oh, I don't like it. Well, there's all kinds of different things you can do with that symbol uh, that will make it sound differently. So again, explore the thing. That's what these, that's that's what's fun about this instrument is, is we can explore it and come up with different tunes uh, or different tones uh, with everything we do. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, click that notifications bell. That's gonna give you uh, notifications whenever new videos are coming as well. Leave me a comment. Let me know uh, how you best use your ride symbol. Which ride symbol do you use? Uh, what's the best sound out of it? I want to know all those things. If it's helped you, click that thumbs up button. Share it with somebody you think it may help as well. Jump over to the website. I've got tons of lessons over there. Membership area. Uh, there's something for everyone. Beginner, intermediate, advanced. No matter what you want to learn, the Drum Better Daily System. <coughs> Excuse me. <I'll coughs> I almost killed myself breathing. <clears throat> the Drum Better Daily System will help you with that. This has been a total failed ending. Go explore your ride symbol and uh, see what sounds you can come up with. I'll see you in the next video. <clears throat>